I was down here. So. <laughs> so All right. About this uh, touchback rule that everyone's uh, talking about, what are your thoughts so far? Uh, I don't like it. You know, I, I think Andy kind of said it all, you know, uh, with what he said. I, I totally agree with him, but it's um, – not something we're happy about. You know, I was on a committee that went up there and, and um, uh, looked at it, looked at all the injuries and, and looked at the, uh, you know, the concussion tape and everything. And, and we advised them that it wouldn't be something that would probably make the play safer, we didn't think. But, um, you know, as it's well documented now. But <clears throat> they, they passed it. I mean, I, obviously there's a lot of, um, you know, reasons why. You know, I mean, because of the numbers were up and you have to do something, you know, and I understand that. Uh, but... Uh, you know, it's the rule now, and we're going to deal with it, and we'll coach it up and, and try to turn it into an advantage for us. You yeah, know, you mentioned just having to do something. Did you anticipate, or did you offer maybe other potential well, alternatives when you went up there? You know, some things that, some things that we, we said was that we would help, you know, as a, a united group is try to coach it out of the game, coach the head out of the game. You know, um, that's one of the things that we, we brought up. We didn't have a, a, a solution like a, a play or, or, or a new rule change that would, make the play safer uh, right now. But from what we have to do is, as coaches across the board, offense, defense, and special teams, is, is teach players to keep their head out of the, out of the tackling because it was the, it was the kickoff team. Guys, most of, the, most of the injuries, most of the concussions happened on the kickoff team. Guys coming off a block and then throwing their head in front of a, you know, throwing in, in front of a, a returner, and they were getting concussions. So we have to do a better job coaching uh, the head out of the game. If we do that, we'll get the numbers down to a reasonable number. Yes. Do you have any estimation just right now among coaches you've chatted with if, if a lot of you guys went just how significantly this will decrease just the number of We don't know. We don't we don't know if, I mean right now our I mean we, we thought there might be more. You know, there might be more returns. There might you know, just because you make a fair catch, the play's not over. I mean you you you're you know, because it's a free ball. If you drop the ball, it's a it's a free you know, it's a it's a free ball. It's so the, the guys are gonna be covered until that ball is caught. So that's not gonna change. So it's still gonna be a physical play. You know, other than you losing a potentially exciting play, what, what's your what are your issues with the new rule? Like, what specifically? I just think it's a, there was a lot of strategy involved. Um, you know, if you're a team that's trying to get back into the game, like you're behind and you're on on kickoff and you're trying to create a turnover, try to pin a team, make them go the long distance. You know, one of the strategies was to kick it high and, and try to tackle them inside the ten. Maybe you know, make them, may force them to return it. Maybe force a turnover. Uh, they have to have, maybe put, cause a penalty, maybe a fumble, you know, whatever, you know, and get the ball back, you know, I mean, really for your, for your offense. I mean, that, that was a huge strategy that's now, uh, you know, if you're a, a good kickoff team that's going to loop the ball down there, they could just fair catch it and, you know, and, and then get the ball to 25 every time and kind of take that away. So it was a big, you know, strategic thing that was taken away from us as, as special teams coaches. You, you've always been an aggressive guy in terms of running kicks back. Yes. I know you, you're not going to give us any speci anything specific, but are there general in, in general? Do you see you guys using that we'll, much when you're the return team? We'll use the re we'll use it in certain cir circumstances, like you know if we're up in a game, for instance, and you know and, and we don't want to take a shot on goal because they kick the ball to us, and and it might be uh, better for the team just to fair catch it and take it up to 25. We'll do it, you know. But it's not something that we're going to do a lot. I'm going to tell you that. You know, if they kick the ball to us, we're returning it. You guys know that. Uh, we want everybody on the same page. We're going to be aggressive. You can't, you can't have it both ways. Your kickoff return team, when they turn and run, they have to think that you're coming out with it every time. If, you, if they're back there looking to see if he's fair catching or not, the guy's running by him, and you have nothing. So you have to be all on the same page. It has to be one or the other. The, the XFL has got the interesting rule where they had the guys on the line of scrimmages moved all the way down and they came yeah. out from there. Did you guys consider that? Did yeah, we did. We looked at that. We, we looked at tape, you know, on the uh, up in uh, NFL films in Jersey. Uh, we watched it. Uh, it's something that we could possibly go to someday. I mean, that, that could be the next step. Who knows? Uh, but it is something that I like it because there's more return. There's returns. And they put the ball back at the 30. You're kicking off in the 30. And I love it because there's more returns. It seems that Kadarius and Pacheco might have expanded roles this year, especially after last year. Do you anticipate having new returners? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do anticipate that. Um, you know, some guys that are doing really well right now, you probably want to know Prince is, is looking good as a running back. Uh, he, he reminds me so much of – you guys remember Niall Davis. He reminds me of Niall. He even has the same number. Uh, didn't do it in college, but, you know, he's showing um, – traits right now that so much he, he reminds me so much of Niall that it's kind of scary 
you know, and Niall was pretty good for us. And, you know, as he went on, obviously the touchdowns and, um, you know, so I, I, I see him in that role. Um, Richie James uh, is a guy that, you know, he's got experience, did it in, in NFL games, which is, that's huge, as we know. And, um, you know, he's definitely in the mix. Um, uh, Ross, the other one, you know, at number 85, he's, he's another guy that got great speed, uh, you know, had injury problems at, at, at Cincinnati. But, you know, if he could stay healthy, he's, he's definitely in the mix. He's probably one of our fastest players back there. You know, and then you still, you still got Sky and you, and you got Amir. Uh, we, have a, we have a bunch of guys that are possible guys that, that can do that for us. A couple more. I know you're not running things like live and tackling people. And last year, you, you lost some of your key special teams guys, and you had to work these new guys into it. You're going to have a, probably more of a group for a second year. Yeah, everything goes in cycles. Like last year, we had the cycle of young players, you know, and, and, I, and, and they did a great job, and they got better and better as the year went on, and then obviously in the playoffs, we were reaching our peak. It took a while to get there, but we were playing good football then when we needed to. They're all back. All those guys are back, so they're going to be that much better. Now we got a new group of young players coming in. So as a group, I, I predict it will be better, you know, right from the start. Anybody that you can tell that's going to help you early? Uh, of, the, of the new young players? Yeah, I know it's hard right now. It, it's really hard. Um, I, I'm excited about the linebacker. I, I talked about Prince. I'm excited about the young linebackers, uh, Moore and Jones, the two free agent kids that we have. Um, I like our, the, the kids that we drafted, uh, 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 Connor and um, um, Jones. Jones. Yeah, both, both of those guys are going to help us right off the bat. Um, you know, and then the D lineman, the defensive end, uh, possibly you know some some role play, but not 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 so much as a four phase guy. But I'm excited about the young players. But really, it's those last year's young players that are getting better that we're gonna you know guys like Cochran and Nazi. You know, he, he towards the end of the year, Nazi Johnson as a as a gunner, he was playing better than, than anybody in the league. So I'm excited about him. He'll probably be our number one gunner coming into next year. Last two, Wilson. Go ahead. Coach, you had some huge plays both in the AFC Championship yeah. game on returns that set up what ended up being a game-winning field goal, which was another big play. The Super Bowl, a, a huge return, and of course you win it on a field goal. Yeah. Can you talk about how sweet it is to play big, good in the biggest game? It was, it was, it was really sweet because of the way the year went. You know, the way that we had a tough year, you know, throughout the year with you know with the muffs and young players making dumb mistakes and. Uh, me coming out in front of the media every week saying, trying to tell you we're going to get better, we're going to get better. And then uh, a little bit of redemption, obviously, in the championship game with Sky. I mean, I felt so good for him that he was able to have two big returns for us and help us win that game. And then the punt return, uh, obviously, in the Super Bowl with Kadarius was huge. Uh, and it was a big uh, – it was, it, was, it was good for the whole group. The whole room was so, so, so elated about that. And then Bucker being able to kick the, the game winner with his ankle, starting off at the first first game with a sprained ankle, and all year long he was dealing with that. Uh, being able to, to put it all together when we needed it most meant a lot. Hey, this is probably what you just said might be your answer to this, but I just wanted to if I could tap into what leads you to think that aggression is, is the way to go with, with returns and things like that, especially obviously. Why is it? Yeah, I just wondered like what, what prompts you to. How are you going to score a touchdown if you don't return it? You know, I mean, if you just take a fair catch and they, if, they're, if they're kicking the ball to you and everybody gets their blocks and you have the ball kicked to you in a, in a, in a situation, um, you, you return it. You know, you block it up and you go. You know, there, there, like I said, there will be times when we'll have a, it'll be a special play when we fair catch it. But you'll, you'll be able to tell that we're doing that. You know, he's going to be protected. We'll have the guys out and blocking in front of him, and he'll be able to catch it, and we'll take the ball at 25 when we need it. But we're going to stay aggressive. Thanks, everybody. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.